In this video, we're going to look at um, myself taking this boiler out of the Gadget coffee. Talking over this video as I've sped up some of the parts, as so they're quite boring. But uh, here I'm just removing the group head. It's four screws. There's remove. Well, it's not this. The group is the portafilter filter retainer, I suppose, more accurately. Uh, it's quite mess messy. This is. Um, an 80s machine, I'm, I, I doubt it's been taken apart as extensively as this before, so no wonder it's got some dirt build up in there. I threw that in the um, coffee cleaner solution, uh, the purely stuff that brought that up really well, actually. Just taking the shower screen out there. Uh, here I'm removing the group head seal a lot of um, coffee oils left on that one again it is just typical of a machine that doesn't get dismantled there's two screws there that hold the boiler into the casing And that lets the boiler come out. Comes out all as one unit with the bypass valve and OPV valve on the side. And there it is. Bottom half of the boiler is brass, chrome plated. And as you can see, there's a lot of corrosion around the join there where it's been probably weeping for quite a while before it actually started to properly leak. Screws um, come out quite easily. They weren't weren't too bad. A couple of them I had to tighten them up before releasing just to get a crack on there. And as you can see there, that is why it was leaking. The two um, side pieces there, little flanges that bolt it down together, broken. So a lot of lime scale inside. Uh, it's probably left with a lot of water in there which has made the aluminium corrode and all in the bottom there is just sediment bits of corroded aluminium bits of lime scale and all that got thrown in the descaler for a good clean <laughs> 